Uh, oh, look at that party going on. Look at it. Uh, ah, it's a wedding, and oh, what a reception they got. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's singing. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's happy. Hey, look over there. A fight is breaking out. A fight is breaking out. A fight is breaking out. Get out of there. Resist the devil, and you have, everybody here has resisted the devil. But the question that I would ask you, how did the devil respond? Did he say, I'll see you later? My bargain still holds. I still got something for you. Just think about it a bit. You've got to learn to fight this battle, not in the place of activity, but in the place of thought. And you've got to understand when you fight it in the place of thought, you got to see, Lord, show me how horrible this could be. Show me how horrible this could be. Show me how horrible this could be. And let me see it so clearly that I can understand how horrible this moment could be. Oh, well, she likes me and she's awful nice looking. Is it worth your marriage? How much money do you want to pay? How do you want to divide it all up? What do you want your children to remember you for? James is speaking to believers. A message that we don't expect believers to need. But just because we look good on Sunday doesn't mean that we're spiritual on Monday. And we have to understand that God loves us. But God has called us to be overcomers. And resist the devil and he will flee from you. But you got to understand, you can't resist the devil if you love the world. How can you resist the devil when the world is his kingdom? Half the stuff on television you can't watch. Half the stuff, no, 90% in the movie industry you can't watch. A good portion of the music you can't listen to. A whole lot about you you can't participate in. You've been washed and you've been clean. And thank God for the cleansing that is through Jesus Christ. And begin in this hour to say, I want to stay clean. I want to stay clean. I want to stay clean. Thank you for your power to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. But where is the battle? The battle is in the thought area, not in the actions. You wait for the actions, you're going to get yourself into a situation that you can't bail yourself out of. Will God forgive you? Yes. But do you want this kind of a testimony to be yours? Forgiveness isn't enough. I need to be cleansed. Forgiveness is not enough. I need to be delivered. Forgiveness is not enough. I need to be washed. Forgiveness is not enough. I have to know how to fight this battle. You will find areas that begin to manifest itself in thoughts. And when you've yelled and screamed at your husband, I know believers that won't say a curse word, but they get so close to it, it's unbelievable. The only difference is they just haven't said the word. The same spirit is there. You rotten dog. Somebody else would say you son of a puppy. What's the difference? 
deliverance, same spirit. God, deliver me from the spirit of cursing. Deliver me from the spirit of the devil. Deliver me from the spirit of the enemy. Loose me from the spirit of it. Resist the devil and watch what he does. Resist the devil and watch what he does. Sometimes he doesn't even move. And say, well, after you get through that religious garble, we'll communicate again. One of the things that I want to see more than anything else in my moment is to see the devil run. I want to see the devil run away. I want to see the devil flee. I want to see the devil flee. I want to see the devil flee. I don't want just to see the devil keep his hand off of me. I want him to flee. I want him to know I mean business. I mean business. I mean business. Devil, no. What does the devil do when you resist? Take it to another level. God bless you today. Thank you for listening to Night Vision with Pastor George Bogle. If you would like to support this ministry, please send your correspondence to P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan 48239. That's Night Vision, P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan 48239. Oh, 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 oh,